Hello, my little ones. How have you been? My name is Mimi. What's yours? What a beautiful name! Well, has anyone called you Scary Boo sometimes though? Because you're scared of the monster living under your bed or inside the closet or somewhere around your house? Well, Today we're going to find out who the real scaredy boo is. If it's you or the monster living under your bed. Let's find out. Under the bed lived a monster. A monster named Scaredy Boo. Boo was afraid of everything. He would have been scared of you. Each night, the other small monsters raced around the house having fun. Though all the children were sleeping, Boo feared they'd wake up someone. Boo sighed. <sighs> I'm scared of big things and small things and wiggly things. I'm little scary Boo monster. Wouldn't these things scare you too? Scary Boo didn't like noises, things that went crackle or squeak. Hearing strange whispers and rustles made poor Boo's legs go all weak. Boo was afraid of things tickly, things that had big four ears, things that had noses or these were Boo's worst monster fears. Late one night, Boo heard loud footsteps. Help! Something's out there, he said. Hello! The thing called. You hiding? It peeked at Boo under the bed. Scaredy Boo trembled. Oh, who are you? I jump when someone shouts, Boo! I'm little Scaredy Boo monster. Wouldn't you be scared too? Why are you scared? smiled the stranger. I'm Spike, a monster just like you. Come out, let's play together. Playing is what monsters do. Poor Boo felt so very worried. He'd never been out before. Nighttime was all dark and scary. Crickety creak creaked the floor. Come on! Spike called to Boo kindly. Let's play with all of these toys. Shh! Scaddy whispered. The children, you'll wake them with all of the noise. Boo saw a huge black shape looming. <laughs> oh, what a horrible sight! How? He cried, diving for cover. There he sat, shaking with fright. Scary Boo started. What is that? I jump when someone shouts Boo. I'm little scary Boo monster. Wouldn't you be scared too? That's just your shadow, Spike told Boo. Everything has one. Look, see? Scary Boo felt a little bit silly. All I was scared of was me. Just then, Boo stopped with the quiver. What is that? He pointed with fear. Big eared and floppy and furry. Oh, it's, it's much too scary around here. That's just a teddy bear, Spike said. Boo asked him to 
Teddy's bite? No! <laughs> Spike laughed. Teddies are friendly. They love to cuddle at night. Help! There's a twitchy thing. Boo gasped. Spike grinned. It's only a mouse. Ooh, it's quite friendly, Boo giggled. I like exploring this house. Scaredy Boo met all of the monsters. It's so much fun playing, he said. Thank you, Spike. I'm glad you found me. It's lonely under the bed. Boo shouted, Let's play tomorrow! It's so exciting and new! Shh! All his monster friends whispered. You're noisy now, little Boo! Did you enjoy that story about the little monster Boo? <laughs> Do you see that the monsters are actually scared of you? That's why they hide under your bed. So when you're fast asleep at night, they will come out and play with all your toys and go right back under the bed. Remember, the monsters under your bed, the monsters in your closet, the monsters around your house are scared of you. <laughs> Goodbye, my little ones.